imagine coming home for the first time in months to mountains of snow. Well, this was the reality for over 100 Fort Trump soldiers returning from deployment after the blizzard. We departed uh, the Middle East around the 22nd of December. So um, obviously a lot of emotions when you have 157 people uh, that are redeploying and uh, expecting to be home for Christmas. After a canceled flight and spending Christmas in Colorado, the soldiers finally arrived at Fort Trump on the 26th. It was great getting off the bus and uh, being able to see my family and I know the other soldiers felt the same way. Now that he's home, First Sergeant Griffith is still trying to dig out. I am replacing uh, my shovel that I broke yesterday, uh, trying to clean the snow from so I could get out my back door of my house. Across base, families are facing similar issues. We've been trapped for about a week. <laughs> I'm just now getting my driveway clear. Our hot water went out due to the fact that our vent is on the side that the wind blows to. It has been challenging. And for some of the junior enlisted soldiers, this is their first time even seeing snow. I've never seen snow in general. Seeing snow like this is just completely different for me. We actually got, we arrived from Fort Benning before that, that big storm. Then we, we went on leave and there was another big storm. Uh, it's, it's just snow. We can't even keep up with the snow. It's so crazy. There's still work to do, but in the true spirit of the 10th Mountain Division, the soldiers are saying, I don't know. I don't think there's anything better than this. Bring it on. I, I can't wait. With many more months of winter to come, there will likely be more snowstorms where these soldiers will have to get their shovels out. Reporting from Fort Drum, I'm Isabella Colello.